Are you guys ready for a pattern review as part of hashtag so rump jump play 22. So if that's some content you would like to see, keep on watching. Hey everyone, oh, welcome back to the channel. My name is Rochelle from Rochelle Handmade Designs and in this video I am sharing the jumpsuit that I created for hashtag so rump jump play 22 hosted by V from 85th and Wade. Now before we get started, go ahead and hit that like button, subscribe button, and also turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get right on into this pattern review. But before we do so, if you are new to the channel, welcome. Hello, ciao, guten tag, aloha, hola, konnichiwa, waguan, bonjour. If you are returning, you know what to do. Go get you something to drink. So we go ahead and do this quick pattern review so I can give you all the details about how I came about this jumpsuit, all right? So without further ado, let's go ahead and talk about the pattern description. So, First of all, the pattern that I used is Simplicity 1355. The new pattern is Simplicity, Simplicity 9125. So I'm gonna put both of them up on the screen so you can see that. But it's this pattern right here, Simplicity 1355. This is an old pattern. I have both patterns actually. And I know there has been so many sewists that have sewn this pattern, but the pattern description is Mrs. Maxi dress and long or short jumpsuit with bodice variation. That's what it's going to say on the Simplicity website. However, I'm gonna give my own description because I'm just gonna say that this is a Mrs. A jumpsuit you have you could, you could do a jumpsuit or a maxi skirt and various lengths. You also have bodice options as well, a tight belt as well. And then the bodice option, you have two different bodice options. And then for the pants, you could do it as shorts or pants. And then you have that skirt. So you can mix and match as like a created to where you could take one bodice and one pair of pants or the bodice and the skirt or the bodice and the short. You could have literally like six to eight different views or different types of the same pattern, okay? So you could do many different things with just changing out the bodice and the skirt or bodice and shorts, bodice and pants and just have different looks. So that's the pattern description for this pattern, Simplicity 1355 or Simplicity 9125. Let's go ahead and move over to the skill level. So for the skill level, um, this is rate, rated as easy to sew. Do I feel that this is easy to sew? Yes and no. Yes, it's easy to sew if you follow along with the Mimi G tutorial that she has for Simplicity 1355, which I will put in the description box below. So you could go to that sew along if you're interested in doing this pattern. However, I did not follow uh, the sew along whatsoever because if I tell you, told you how long I had to do it, you'll see why I didn't follow the sew along. Okay, <laughs> like I started and finished this jumpsuit Sunday. Okay, <laughs> and photos Monday. Okay, so I really did not have any time to really sit and watch the so long, um, but that's fine because I have done many pants, many jumpsuit. This is, I think this is like the fourth or fifth jumpsuit I have done this year, this year. So I did not follow the sew along, but there is one if you are interested in doing it. So yes, I feel like it's easy, but no, I do not feel like it's easy. If you um, have issues with elastic casing, that could be a difficult part. Um, and another part that can be difficult if you are not good with folding down the casing for the front and the back portion to feed the um, necktie all the way through. Those are, only, are the only two things that I could see that can trip some people up, but make sure you transfer all your notches, your dots, your marking and everything before you get started, okay? Before you get started sewing, all right? So let's go ahead and move over to the Notion shoes. So for this pattern, you just need elastic. Now in the pattern, um, on the pattern description, which I'll, not pattern description, but the pattern envelope, the back of the pattern envelope, which I'll go ahead and put up on the screen, it calls for, I believe three eighths of an inch uh, elastic. Actually, it doesn't tell you how much to use 
for the elastic. It says one and three eighth yard of three eight inch wide elastic for view C or view D if you are doing um, those views, okay? Now me, I have used a fourth of an inch and I'm gonna say this, if I do this jumpsuit again, I would definitely use a different size elastic because that three eighths of an inch elastic, no, no, no ma'am, that doesn't work, okay? And I believe it's Sarah from Naughty No who also said the same exact thing about the elastic. I feel that it should have had at least a half an inch wide elastic because a fourth of an inch is not going to get it and three eighths of an inch is not going to get it. I feel like the jumpsuit gets lost with that small of an elastic. Just my opinion and I'm just saying, okay? But that's the only notion that you need to use outside of the thread for this um, jumpsuit. Let's go ahead and talk about fabric used. So fabric used for this uh, fabric, I use 100% Ankara print because you guys know I am working through the Ankara print um, by the end of the year, all right? Um, this print is from Afric Clothing Store. So I purchased this fabric in 2019 from Afric Clothing Store during Black Friday, I believe. So. I'm pretty sure this fabric is not available, but I will link to some of the other fabrics that are similar if you are wanting to do something like I did with the color blocking, okay? And I'll talk about that here shortly. Let's talk about the pattern pieces. So for this pattern, you need, I think it was eight, eight or nine pattern pieces. So I'm just gonna go ahead and go through the pattern pieces that I use. I use pattern piece, um, I'm sorry. I did I use, use the bodice, bodice C, but the pants of view A. So I used the bodice pieces. You need bodice piece number 12, 13, and 14, which is the bodice front, the bodice back, and the neck tie. For the pants, I used the pants of view A, which you will need pattern piece 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Now, I want to say pattern piece number 10 was not in my pattern envelope. Now this was a new pattern, it was never cut. However, that tie belt was not included in my pattern. I don't know if it was missed or what, but it was not included with either one of my so, patterns. So, okay. for um, Simplicity 1355, uh, I have two patterns and it's not in any one of those. I did not check Simplicity 9125 to see if it's in there, but it, both of those patterns are missing the tie belt which is why I created my own tie belt, which I will talk about here shortly. All right, so let's talk about pattern sizing. For, so for this pattern, it only comes in one envelope and it comes in extra, extra small to extra, extra large. The size that I cut was a small all the way down. So I'm sorry. So I cut the small for the bodice and the waist. And then as I started getting towards the hip, I cut a medium. So I just graded at the waist from the small to the medium at the hip and then the medium all the way down. That's what I did for the size that I cut. Let's talk about modifications. Did I make any modifications? Absolutely, I did make modifications. So the first modification that I made was, um, tapering in the pant leg because these are kind of white leg and I did not like that on some of the ladies that I've seen on Instagram I did not like the white leg look so I tapered them in and what I did is from the side seam of the leg I um, actually the first thing I did was chop off three inches from the bottom so I measured from the bottom of the pant leg the hem up three inches, made that line all the way across. After I did that, I went in both sides, uh, the end seam and the side seam, three inches, made a dot, and then tapered in from the hips down to taper in so it's not, you know, baggy or anything for the pant leg. And I like that, even though I believe Mimi G tells you how to taper it in as well. I did not follow how she did it simply because I wanted mine to be, you know, basically right at the top of my boots, okay? So instead of right at the top of my um, calf. So I did it a little different, but pretty much the same method, all right? Um, the other modification that I did was I drafted my own tie belt and I kind of said this when I did the Reese's PDF um, dress that I 
did a sash and a ruffle for it. it was part of my make nine which i will put on the end screen and in the description box below to that video for the mimi g reese's pdf dress that i did which i call the camisole dress as part of the dress series um for that one what i did was i made it longer for that dress but this one i wanted it a little shorter so i drafted a um sash that measured 31 inches by 5 inches and i cut two on the fold of the fabric put them together and then made a sash that's basically all i did for my sash all right let's talk about did it look like the photos are the drawing on the pattern envelope yes if you do not look at the color blocking it looks exactly like it without the color blocking which i will talk about here why i did the color blocking all right are the instructions easy to follow yes they are easy to follow the instructions are easy to follow i did not follow all of them but i did look for the sake of the tutorial for the sake of this pattern review all right so i did look let's talk about likes and dislikes let's start with the dislikes first all right so the dislikes i completely completely dislike the fact that this is one where you have to completely pull off the jumpsuit there's no options of just taking the top down whatsoever i did not like that because i wore this to work on a cold day with a um denim jacket and in doing so when you pull everything down i know this may be tmi but i'm just gonna say it your nipples get a little cold okay because it was a little cold outside okay so i do not like that so this is one reason why i stay away from a lot of jumpsuits and if i make a jumpsuit i like to have a zipper uh in the back you know to where all i'm doing is just pulling down the front and i don't have to completely like this you have to pull all the way down to where you pretty much naked okay so i don't like that at all with this jumpsuit so if i decide not to give it away and keep it because right now i'm deciding on keeping it i may give it to a sister at a later time but i will say that with this jumpsuit i would wear around the house not out in public because i don't want to be taking my clothes off i'm just gonna put it like that all right as nice as i can all right any time any first time experiences no i do not have any first time experience i have done everything before that i have done for this jumpsuit when I rec when I sew it again, yes, I would. I would recommend this to this uh, pattern to others as well. My pattern rating is a four out of five, and the reason why I am marking it a little lower is because, like I said, pulling it all the way down is not my vibe whatsoever. But I do enjoy this pattern, okay. And would I sew it again? I would sew it again, but with slight modifications, okay. I probably would not do this bodice again. I would probably. Um, do a different bodice um, and add a zipper or something I'm not sure exactly what I would do okay to kind of step out of it versus you know having to take everything off I didn't like that but let's go ahead and move over to the modifications and the color blocking um, just real quick um, before I get over to the next pattern so for the color blocking I have an inspiration photo that I've seen on Instagram which I will go ahead and put up on the screen and talk through it so this Instagram inspiration um, I've seen of course the bodice portion is different it has like a scoop neck line um i did not see a pattern that i completely loved or liked in order to want to do that scoop neckline so i chose a pattern where i could just cut the bodice and the pants out but i did want them to kind of be a little flared but not too flared so that's what i did with that and i like the way that it was color blocked so i went ahead and did the same thing color blocking it and it it, it was a hit in my neighborhood as well as at work um so yeah i love it um another thing i did is i seen the second photo um which was the top and the pattern that i used for that top is mccall 7630 i did view bf you could do bf basically so i did view b on this pattern and then i just kind of did my own thing okay 
which I will talk about here shortly. Now that's it for the pattern review for the jumpsuit. Let's go ahead and move over to the top, which is McCall 7630. Now, like I said, I did view B on this pattern with some slight modifications. The only modifications that I did was um, to the sleeves, okay? So I'll talk about that here shortly. But the pattern description for the top is just basically Mrs. Top, it's loose fitting, pull over top, half sleeve length and hem variation. View A have your double full bias tape binding and then view B has that contrast pocket as well. Now, the, let's go ahead and talk about the uh, Notion shoes. So the only Notion that you need is just thread. That's it. No other notions, the fabric uses the exact same fabric that I used for the jumpsuit, which is 100% Ankara print from Afric, Afric Clothing Store as well. I'll put a link to her shop in the description box below as well. For skill level, I'm going to say this pattern is rated as easy. It, if you know how to sew a top, you wouldn't have any problem sewing this pattern whatsoever. It's basically a basic top is what I did um, just to utilize the rest of the fabric. And because the inspiration photo, I said, why not? Just use the rest of it to do the top as well. Let's talk about pattern pieces. So for this pattern, I think it's like five pattern pieces. To be honest, I did the front, the back, the sleeve, the front and back facing. That's it, five pattern pieces, <laughs> nothing extreme whatsoever. So five pattern pieces in order to construct this uh, top. Let's talk about pattern sizing. So for the pattern, it comes in two envelopes. So the first pattern is six to 14 and the second one is 14 to 22. The size that I cut was a size 16. I did not have to make any modifications whatsoever. I did not have to size it up at the bus or the waist whatsoever. The only thing I did, that, which is a modification, is extend it by three inches, which I didn't really need to because I felt like it was longer than what I wanted, but I did that three inches because normally when I just do a top, I have to extend it three inches to kind of hit right at my hip. So one thing I do feel that this top is very, very boxy. I was going for more of a little tapered, but it's okay because I mean, it's a top, okay? <laughs> so it's okay. Let's talk about, did it look like the photos or the drawing on the pattern envelope? Yes, but I was going more for my inspiration photos. So yes, I think I achieved uh, my inspiration photos outside of the sleeve. Now, I feel that the sleeve is a little different than what's on my inspiration photo. However, the only thing I did for the sleeve was add elastic at the bottom. However, I did not have enough fabric to do like a puff sleeve is what I was originally going for. I did not have enough fabric to do that because the pattern that I wanted to use for the puff sleeve is my TNT pattern for a puff sleeve, which is New Look 6698. I do have a sew along for that, which I will go ahead and put it on the end screen as well as in the description box below for the sew along for New Look 6698. I'll also put a picture up of two, uh, actually I used it three times this year um, in order to do puff sleeves. So I'll put all three um, photos up on the screen now. So that's it for New Look 6698, the puff sleeve that I did not do, all right? So let's go ahead and talk about are the instructions easy to follow? I'm gonna be honest with you, I did not look at the instructions for this top because it's a basic top. So are the instructions easy to follow? I don't know, however, I'm pretty sure they are because it's a basic top. If you don't know how to do a basic top, you can also go to any of my So What series for McCall 7542 or McCall 8161, which I will also link to in the description box below so you can go check those out if you are interested in doing a basic top and just change out the sleeves as well, all right? So definitely you can check that out. Um, also, likes and dislikes, 
I don't have any dislikes whatsoever. It's all love. I love this top. I styled it two ways. I styled it with the jumpsuit. So basically I just put the top over the jumpsuit and hope that the ties did not um, pucker up through the um, neck hole, okay? And then I styled it with pants as well, jeans. So yeah, I love it. I love it, I love it. I love the top. I love the jumpsuit as well. Let's talk about first time experiences. I do not have any first time experiences for the top whatsoever. It's things that I have done before. Would I sew it again? Yes, I would sew it again. However, I do not feel that I need to sew this pattern again. I think one and done is great for me. Um, would I recommend this to others? Yes, I would recommend this to others. I would recommend this to my beginner sewing. Um, our beginner friend, this is beginner friendly. I would recommend this to a beginner sewer, okay? And my pattern rating for this pattern, I'm going to snap it a 4.5 out of five. I think it's a great pattern um, just to, you know, get introduced to how to do tops, how to basically fit for your bust and your waist as well. So I do like this pattern, McCall 7630. All right, well that's it for this pattern review. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on the notification bell so you are notified every time I upload a new video. Also, this is the last day for hashtag so rump jump play 22. Get in your submissions by midnight tonight or 11:59 p.m. Send those on Instagram. Use the hashtag so rump jump play 22. Also tag V from 85th and Wade, which is linked in the description box below. I hope you enjoyed this video, and as always, hey, keep okay, sewing. let it be known. I'm working hard when I ain't on the phone. This ain't a hunt, this ain't a phone. Grind never stopping, I'm keeping it cold. Unlocking the door with the holy key. You're supposed to be this close to me, and hopefully, you understand. Yo, maybe this cold, and I'm talking like no.